is Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video today, guys, I'm going to show you a really neat solar oven called the Sun Flyer. It folds up. I'll show you the whole thing from step by step, start to finish. Even got these little silicone pots that collapse down you can cook with. But before I go into that, I want to go over this quick 411 with you. Missouri Wind and Solar is doing a giveaway. Now, they do giveaways from time to time on their channel, but this one's really unique, okay? This one's really nice, and Jeff's giving back to his customers. Not only that, but at Off Grid Contracting, he's one of the number one vendors I send people to. They have a great product. Well, now they have solar ovens, too. All right, so just a quick 411. <clears throat> if you go to Missouri Wind and Solar's link, and I'll have it down at the bottom there to the YouTube video he's got posted, you can see all the rules and everything, but I'm going to go over it real quick. From June 17th to July 17th, you can go to this video, and you can subscribe to the channel. You add that video to your favorites, and by all means, share it with others. And you can leave up to four comments on the video, okay? Make sure it's something pertaining to solar ovens, uh, your comments and thoughts. Now, the, this, can, this giveaway is worldwide, okay? So anywhere in the world, and to all my subscribers as well, if you want to go over there and, and um, subscribe and uh, take a chance at winning this, you can. Now, there's going to be four different prizes. The first prize is for an all-American solar sun oven. It's like a $300 piece of equipment. Now, that's the one that's like a square box unit. You can see it in the giveaway video. Second place is going to be for one of these type ovens right here. This is the Sunflower oven. And I'll get you the links to both of those for their website. Now, the third place is going to be an auto jump start kit. It's a pretty neat little alternative energy uh, kit to use. And fourth place is going to be for a kilowatt meter. Now, for anybody that wants to know how much power consumption they have, that's a great little device you can plug in, check it. I, I like to have that for customers so that they can see what they're using so they know whenever I put their system in for them for off-grid power how much they need to expect to be using from them. All right, so anyway, the winner, uh, when, if you're one of those great people that win that, by all means, make a shout-out video when you get it showing Jeff and them that you received the product, and that way people see that giveaways are always legit. I always ask people the same thing here on my channel. All right, so with that said, and with that shout-out for the giveaway, let's take a look at this now, and I'll show you from start to finish how this particular sun oven works. So, guys, this is my sun oven uh, that's come in the mail. Uh, from Missouri Wind and Solar, and I'm going to take a look at it here in just a moment. I just wanted to show you the, the boxing uh, that got here in very good shape. And so we'll open this up and get going. So guys, here is the Sunflower oven um, in its packaging before we open it up. Just real quick, here's some 411 on it. Um, right down here I was noticing that it says once oven temperature reaches 145 degrees, you can place food in the oven and then it will do a slow cook. Um, Every 45 minutes is needed, you just re-aim the oven, kind of help track the sun with it. And we'll get this thing opened up, get it set up out here, and we'll take a look at it. Real quickly, guys, just so you know, there is instructions that comes with this, and it tells you pretty much everything you need to know <clears throat> to get it going on a quick setup. It also tells uh, recipes in here where you can dry uh, things, like on that sheet, you can dry out that. Um, you can obviously make you some bread and other things. It also gives a um, angle so that you can set your stove up properly. Um, lots of great recipes, and I'm just throwing this out there to those for what it's worth. But um, people that try to keep Sabbath properly um, and you know not fire up, such as this this grill right here on Sabbath, you know not to kindle a flame on Shabbat day. Um, those that kind of feel like don't do that on electric range either. This is not kindling a flame. Just throwing that out there. That's just setting some food out here and letting the sun do what it does um, that the Most High gave us. So just a thought on that if you're very careful and diligent to keep the commands on Shabbat too. Um, you know, not firing up the grill. Using a sun oven is a great backup. So if you want a warm meal on Sabbath. So anyways, let's, let's get to cooking. Alright guys, so now we've got our sunflower oven out here. It's got a nice little pouch to haul it in. Get this opened up. Probably would have been wise for me to bring some sunglasses with me, just saying. Um, so first off, so I'm going to use my nice char grill out here for a cooking surface as the, um, it's a good spot to set this down. And pretty much we're going to set our grate in here. And then this will zip down like so and we'll start getting this heated up. Alright guys, so we have some silicone wire, uh, cook wire that you can pop up. I'll show you these here in a minute because my wife's going to put some beans in it. Um, looks like we have a cooking tray 
cooking sheet. Um, that'd be awesome to throw some cookies on. And then we've got another silicone pot. Um, seems to be a similar size. I'm imagining maybe the depth on them is a little bit different. I don't know. We'll see here in a minute when we set it up. And now right here I've got my tray sit in there so you can get heat reflected up from the bottom. Heat on the top and all the sides. Man, that's so bright. Um, the temperature gauge in there right now. Yeah, it's starting to climb from the heat out here. Um, it's scalding hot summer day, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip this on the appropriate hook right there, and that's going to cinch this down. I'll show you how it looks in a minute, and then we're going to get some beans in this thing. Okay, so you can see right here, it looks like a clamshell. Once it's done, it's kind of a clamshell cooker. And now the temperature gauge, I don't know, I can't really see at the moment from the light reflecting, but it's already starting to climb. And so hopefully here in just a little bit, we will be up at the slow cooking zone, which is in the 120 to 140 range. And we can set our beans in there and get going with it. Okay guys, so it's 133 and I believe it was 113 uh, when I started this and we are up to um, 80. We're about, we're about at 80 right now. So the, the clouds came over the sun just a little bit. But uh, hopefully here in the next 15, 20 minutes, we'll be up to optimal All right, guys, cooking now that we've got our uh, plate in place and we've got the thermometer in there, I am actually at the point right now where that um, we can uh, do slow cooking. Um, we're about to crest the 100 mark. Now, something I want to reiterate is that although you do have a little bit of a vent hole on this, make sure that your Velcro is seen together tight so that you don't have air loss because even though this does clamshell down, it seals all the way around, but you're only going to have like these two little air vent holes right there. Now, the other thing is don't disrespect this just because you think it's just a little solar oven, okay? These things get hot. I mean, that plate right there, I just had it laying on my char grill just to put in there, and uh, the thing was already pretty toasty. And, and in there right now, it's enough to really burn you good, so make sure to wire oven mitt whenever working with this stuff. Now, this is the little silicone bowls that came with it. I'm going to show you right and here. You can see right here, it flats down just like that. Very compact, easy to clean up and wash, especially for people who got tiny houses. Man, if you want a solar oven, this is great for a tiny house. Don't take up space. Very compact. Space matters these days, folks. All right, so anyway, then the lid goes on. It The lid actually vacuums into itself, like so, so it holds a good, tight seal. And so I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to drop some beans in, and here in just shortly, we're going to have a hot meal. Okay, guys, so I had to step away and go take care of a few things as uh, with working with off-grid contract and those things just seem to pop up these days. But anyway, um, I came back out and reset up the oven and it's currently at um, 210 degrees, looks like. Um, earlier, I think this thing was up to, oh man, it was scalding hot early in midday and then I had to leave. But anyway, I got some beans in here, uh, reset it up and got the beans in. And so I'm going to open that up here and see if how those things done. And I'm going to show you uh, how the pot's held up and everything from it. So give me just a second and get that so out. So I got me a fork and I'm going to give this a go. Some ants visited me on the deck here. I'd say they'll clear out very quickly once I get in the heat. Boy, watch them run. <laughs> I like the the uh, pots have a lid on it that vacuums down. Hot, hot. I also uh, stuffed my zipper tab in to block that so that hardly any airflow could get out whatsoever. And two mitts wouldn't be bad. Just saying. All right. So anyway, let's try this. Uh, got some beans here. Get the juice in there and everything. See how this oven warms these suckers up. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Um, I, I'm thinking one day just for goofing off, just to see all the bells and whistles of this thing. I think I'm gonna stick uh, some cookies on that pan and stick them out here and see how it does with cookies because I mean I think cookies are supposed to be baked in, in 
correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not really a chef. My wife covers the food department, but I'm thinking it's like 400, 325 or 400. So I'm wondering if you slow baked them at 200 something for a couple hours, if it turned out really good. So I'm gonna give that a go one day too, but really pleased with this. Beans are good, I'm gonna get one more guy. Good stuff. So make sure to check this out at Missouri Wind and Solar. And until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Pepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.